Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back, or for the first time, to Hardcore Survival Safari. Now, this is a series where I play Minecraft on Hardcore, so if I die, the world gets deleted, and I lose everything, and I'm trying to beat the game. Uh, I also use Mo Creatures just to spice things up. Now, I've done this series before, but I got to a certain point, and my hard drive failed, so I lost that save data, so I figured, you know, I didn't get that far. I only had some items and stuff, I didn't really build that much or go into the nether or anything, so let's start over. So let's go into it here, I just called it Hardcore Survival Safari, and then the seed, just because I want to see what it looks like, is Swimming Bird, and I've got villages on and all that stuff. Normal world, let's just go straight into it and see what we can see, and I'll just see how long I can survive, and hopefully I can beat the game. Whoa, we got a birch tree right in my face. Okay, we got some cows, we got a tree, we're going. Now let's start, like any good Minecraft game, just gonna punch some wood. Now this is the uh, Tibetan cherry tree texture I've got on here, because I thought it makes the birch look a little more interesting. I'm not a huge fan of the normal birch. Uh, so yeah, we gotta start with the basics, but that's where everybody starts. In 1.3 they'll let you have a bonus chest, so you don't have to worry about, you know, starting with nothing because it gives you some tools and stuff, but for now, we're still in 1.2.5, and we gotta do this the normal way, like everybody else, like the sorry people. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about, usually that'll annoy me if people leave trees like that, but you know, this is my world for my own and the cows, and I'm just going to leave it there, because I'm not really concerned about visuals in this, I, I'm gonna beat the game, and we're going to do it as survival friendly as possible because if I die it's extreme you know the world gets deleted so let's go I think the first thing I'm going to do is kill some cows because I need some food and leather would also be nice because uh, a saddle is pretty pretty key in uh, mo creatures if you'll see here later hopefully I survive long enough to show you but in mo creatures there's lots of things that I can ride, not just a pig, but you can make your own saddles, and uh, I can ride any manner of horse, or unicorn, or pegasus. I gotta remember not to dash. Let's kill these. Oh, they're so cute. I'm using uh, Painterly, and this is a custom Painterly that I made. There's a deer off in the distance. Let's just start exploring. I'm gonna grab some mushrooms as I go, because mushroom stew is gonna be useful. But this is a custom version of Painterly. If you uh, want this version of it, just send me a message here on YouTube. I know I'm slow with messages, but uh, just put like Hardcore Survival Safari or Painter Painterly or some texture pack in the subject, and I can send you the code because I can give you this exact Painterly pack. And we got some deer over here. God, they sound like the frogs or something. Okay, let's. There's no frogs in this game, but but if we have deer, I guess that doesn't matter. The deer have, jeez, so many sounds and a snake. Let's avoid that. Where did that one deer go? The the bigger ones I think will drop pork easier. They didn't want to make like venison or whatever. So, jeez, shut up. <laughs> I'm just trying to kill you, buddy. Okay, so we got some pork. That's good. You know, let's try to look at our surroundings. I want to get a good idea of what biomes are around here. So I think we're in a forest one, right? Yep, we are in a forest biome. It looks like forest hills. But let's see if there's anything around here. I think I see an ocean. Jeez. I'm also using Optifine, so uh, my texture, my render distance is far plus 32. So that gives me a pretty far render distance. Man, it looks like there are there's forest pretty far, but I see some plains off in that direction, so let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know if that snake's going for me. But, uh, so yeah, this is Painterly, and they have pretty much a, a ton of different options, if you've never used it before. A ton of different options for every texture thing. There's a horse. That's just a normal horse. I'm not going to bother with that. They're very loud. <laughs> we got some birds down here. There's a crow, a fox, jeez, there's so many animals. Morning dove, I think, and some cats. Or one cat, man, there's a bunch of birds. This cat will try to kill these birds, but the cat, the cat in uh, in Mo Creatures is a little more complicated than the cats that they have in normal Minecraft. 
they, uh, do you have to actually, like, make them go into a litter box and, like, have them sleep and stuff? So I grabbed a seed here because I want to try to tame a bird. So let's find a bird. I gotta remember not to dash, though. Where's that? That crow seemed okay, but he's... I'm trying to find the least annoying bird. In my other playthrough, I had some annoying birds that I had as pets, and they just didn't seem worth it. Birds are pretty good, though, to have as pets, because you can wear them on your head, and when you jump off a, a cliff or anything, you'll glide. There's another cat. Where are all the birds? You guys didn't kill them, did you? I need to find... That one sounded okay. Where's that one? I really need to look for some wool, because it's going to get night here. There it is. Whatever this guy is, I want him. Oops. Hey, don't go away. Where'd he go? I already see zombie flesh. Get those seeds, buddy. Man, this, the bird's calling just gives it a very natural feel. I have no idea where he went. But let's get this coal while we're at it. I shouldn't be worried about a bird right now. I need to be getting my base supplies because this first night is going to be terrifying. I can already hear a zombie. This first night's going to be pretty terrifying if I don't have any supplies to stay alive. So we really need a bed. The coal will help because I can make torches at least, but we need to get some stone while we're at it. Let's just grab enough stone for a pick and a forge while we're over here. That zombie does not sound good. So we got the pick, and then we need nine to do the forge, or eight to do the forge. Yeah, I want that bird, though. <laughs> I need to not be obsessed with the bird, or else I'm going to get killed here. So yeah, um, so this is actually the fifth, not counting the original one, this is the fifth attempt since the uh, last few days I, that I've tried to start this playthrough. Oh my god. I'm not going to go for that. I have no armor. Those are skeletons, obviously. There's a goat. Okay. Mo creatures is almost like sensory overload because there's so many new creatures and they're popping up everywhere. And we, every time we turn around a tree, there's a new animal. Um, so yeah, I tried one the other night. I tried four times to get this going, and I have a lot of clips from those, which I'll probably post because there's some funny stuff I think. Um, but the biggest problem was that Minecraft would run out of memory. I think it was extending my view distance and having all these animals. If you look up in the right corner, you can see how much memory I'm using. It will flush every once in a while, and normally Minecraft only uses about a gig of memory, 910 megabytes or whatever, but I actually extended the, the memory by like going in and editing the Java parameters or whatever, because Mo Creatures uses a lot of memory, I think. If you have normal render distance, you're probably not going to encounter the problem that I had. I was exploring a lot grab me a bunny, putting on my head, that sort of thing. Um, and I just had the problem where it ran out of memory. But the big kicker with that was it ran out of memory and it deleted my save file. So I lost my hardcore playthrough. And also, there's a snake trying to kill my rabbit. Um, and also, I am going to fight a bear. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh, pissed off the other one. Oh, God. Don't do this in real life. Obviously. Jeez. I better not die this early. I want these fish so I can tame a cat. Now I'm going to go for the normal Minecraft cat because if I tame one of the uh, the cats in Mo Creatures, they don't actually ward off creepers that I know of. So let's. I got enough for one forge and two pick pickaxes. So let's do that. Actually, let's do a stone sword. There we go. The stone sword is this like, it's called an ice glaive, but it looks kind of like a, a spear, Naginata type thing. So I need to cook some food. I'm starving here. The night is, or the day is growing short, so I better hurry. I'm just gonna move out into the open where I can see the bears, kill that boar, and I'm gonna cook some food here. I got a lot of raw meat, so let's pop that in. And I'll be back in a second I'm gonna keep an eye on that snake. You know, while that's cooking, I could always uh, just go see if I can grab this bird before the snakes get him. Oh, shit. Get the seed. One of you. Get it. Get it. Eat it. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. But I, I don't need 
that rabbit. The rabbit doesn't do anything but sit on your head. And the snake looked like he was going for me because of that rabbit. How's this? Is this bluebird good? What does that bluebird sound like? Geez, the sun's going down. And I don't have any wool. This isn't off to a great start. There's a black bunny. Where are all the birds going? Man, this isn't going good. There's so many snakes. What is this? That snake is swimming. That's really cool. Look how the snakes are animated. I love how they're like made of a ton of little blocks. I think the, the creator guy did a really good job with making snakes. Along with a lot of the other animals. Hor horses are actually going to get upgraded in the next update. But right now we're in the update that just added ostriches. So I know I said that saddles are used for horses. But they're also used for ostriches. And that is my goal. I'm going to have an ostrich mount. And I'm going to run around with my ostrich buddy and we're just going to you know claim this land as our own i need another piece of coal here and then we're gonna these are hamburgers <laughs> this is steak but those the texture pack has hamburgers for uh if you use the the meat dropped from cows so oh my god what do we do guys there's no sheep in sight um we might just have to dig a hole in the ground because ogres guys ogres and wraiths and all the all the monsters added to creatures. It's not just creatures, there's... Or animals. Oh my god, it's a panther. Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna fight it. Because I need these big cat claws to build stuff. So this, hopefully this is an overload for you guys. I'll explain it as we go. I don't even rem like remember what everything does in here. But we'll figure it out as we go. And this is going to be the end of the first day here. I think I'll, I'll try to go into night. If I can here oh that forge was like my only light jeez okay we're okay we're okay it's just getting really dark let's try to find some sheep i've got wood i need to find sheep like quickly hey whatever it killed just drop some pork probably that um hey you're you're cool right oh my god squ giant scorpions let's um let's take a little swim and we gotta be careful in the water because there are sharks and there are stingrays. And there's lots of stuff that's going to want to kill me. Um, are we even heading in the right direction anymore? Probably not. That scorpion is coming after me. There's a wolf. There's an ogre. There's a zombie. At least I'm out of there. <laughs> Alright. I think we're going to try to do about a day per episode. A day and night cycle. So uh, let's kill this zombie. Not that I need to, but, you know, excitement. The zombie in this texture pack I use is the, uh, he looks like a Chinese Zhongshir, which are they're actually like Chinese uh, vampire zombie hybrids. In Chinese mythology, their version of the vampires are kind of zombie-like from corpses, but they hop when when they walk around, so it's perfect for the zombies in Minecraft. And I think that's why they, well, they added that to the texture pack, obviously. So if you're confused by why there was like a zombie with a scroll on his face, that's why. Just a little bit of Chinese mythology for you. There we go. I am headed the right way, I think. But I'm going to travel the treetops. Because stuff won't spawn on here, right? That's how it works, I think. Plus, it's fun to jump through the treetops. There's a lot of zombies. So there's still the normal Minecraft enemies I have to deal with. And pretty much anything can kill me at this point because I have no armor whatsoever. I probably should eat just to ensure that I regenerate my hit po what few hit points I have. I don't want to waste too much meat, so I just use that chicken. I see a creeper. I think stuff could get up here on the trees, though, to get me, so i got to be careful. Especially wraiths. If I see a wraith, those are flying enemies that are terrifying. What is that over there? I can't even see. Optifine has zoom. Can I use that? Yep. There's a wraith. So we're not going to want to go over there. They're not too strong, but they can get to you wherever you are, basically, because they can fly. So let's not do that. Let's just keep heading in this direction. The planes, I think, are good because I can spot stuff from farther off. I really want that pig, but then I would risk the wraith coming after me. Jeez. This is intense. I should have... That's, uh, I mentioned some of those other playthroughs. You know, every one of those other times that I played... The first one, uh, the, the water didn't render, so I just started over. But the other three, I found sheep, like, immediately. And I found ostriches. 
I got their eggs. But this is... Oh my god. No. You better not be able to get up here. Guys, that's a... That's a werewolf. Oh my god. Werewolves cannot be defeated... <laughs> cannot be defeated unless I have gold weaponry. Oh my god. Let's, uh... Try to get away from... He's just gonna sing, hang out down there. I think this is as far as we're gonna have to be able to go in the night, because I, if I go any farther, I'm gonna risk him climbing up to get me. So yeah, werewolves are a new monster. They are... Ugh, sounds like he just ate some Taco Bell or something. They, uh... They're human during the day, but at night they will change into these beasts that are horrifying, because who builds gold weapons, honestly? But... Gold is a lot more useful in most creatures. You actually use it to make metals that you use to like tame the the big cats and stuff to have as pets. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna hang out up here, guys. There's an ogre way off there. I can kind of zoom in. There's a good shot at the ogre. Now ogres are terrifying because they can. Hey, guys, I'm tr I'm trying to talk to the audience. So could you please shut up, Mr. Wolf? I know you want to eat me. Um. Ogres can break through blocks when they come after you, and that's terrifying. What? Oh my god. That's a flame wraith. So that's another variety of wraith. We're seeing a lot of things here. This is good because it gives me something to talk about while I'm trapped in a tree. There's another flame wraith. These guys, I think they shoot fireballs and they light stuff on fire. So they're like wraiths, but they, they only spawn on the harder difficulties, and they're terrifying. Please don't come over here. He might... I might need to start moving, guys, even though there's a werewolf. There's one there. There's one there. I'm going to try to keep moving. I know this is where the ogre is, but if I fall on the ground, I am fucked. Okay. Did I lose the werewolf? There's a scorpion. Now, giant scorpions, they can climb up stuff like spiders, I believe. So I need to be careful. I don't hear the werewolf anymore. Don't want to lure that guy, though. Eh, that's not a jump that I'm going to want to make. Jeez. I'm sorry not that much is happening, but I can't really do much right now. I just need to survive. Let's see. I'm just running along the treetops. Can we make this? No. No. Oh, my God. I feel so vulnerable. Sheep. Glorious sheep. There's a skeleton. Scorpion. Huh. Oh, just a normal spider. Just a normal spider. I need to kill those any... Oh, rats will attack too. Jeez. And they should drop coal sometimes. I need to kill spiders because... Um... Any, uh... Any string would be good for a bow, you know. Fish, I don't have to worry about doing a fishing rod to get because um, I can just kill bears as you saw earlier and I got some fish. Jesus. Okay, I might have to fight the skeleton unless the sheep like run towards me after I hit them. There's another one. Okay, I'd rather fight skeleton than a lot of this stuff though. Come on. I need your wool. There we go. Oh no. That's a different werewolf. <laughs> okay. Scorpion, you stay there, and I will fight the skeleton if I have to. Uh, Jesus. I'm gonna block and move. Ugh! No! You're not taking me down. I just started. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll post a clip sometime here, but on my third try I actually died legitimately to a skeleton uh, it's pretty funny some turtles lured me into a tree it okay it sounds stupid but <laughs> you'll see you'll see it was completely the turtles fault so don't even you know don't judge all right so <laughs> what are we <laughs> what are we doing here did I get enough wool to make a bed yes I did all right sorry for the disorganized like there's so much stuff going on, and I'm trying to stay alive. You know, let's make this bed right as the moon goes down in the background. <laughs> it's 
perfect, right? Okay, so I'm gonna jump in bed here in my creeper bed, which hopefully protects me from creepers, but probably not, you know, it's just a texture. But we've woken up, and there's probably a crap load of monsters out still. But, you know, another day longer that we've survived. That was a pretty intense first day, but now I have a bed, so I don't have to worry about a lot of these monsters above ground, at least for a while. But once we start going down to mine, whew, look out, because we're going to have a ton of crap. There's cave ogres. Did I mention cave ogres? They, uh, they're stronger than normal ogres. This is a lot of stuff to kill me, so I'm definitely making this playthrough harder than it has to be. Hey, hey how you doing, buddy? This is the werewolf during the day. Now, if I try to kill him, he's going to freak out, so watch this. <laughs> and see, he's a cool, he's like a vicious werewolf at night, but he's just a whiny guy during the day. Was that a crow? Okay. I think we have done enough here. What is that? Oh, it's like a baby leopard thing. Sweet. Or cheetah. It's running from me. Might be a leopard. <laughs> so I can't... These little guys I can tame when they're babies and make them my pet. But, you know, I can't really do that at this point. I need to get one of those gold medals that I was talking about. So let's kill this bear. And I think, you know, that might be good enough for one episode. I don't know. Let's go a little longer because that was an intense first night. And uh, I survived it. So, you know, let's celebrate by doing some more... Will these scorpion fight me during the day? Jeez, that's gross. I guess that's the sound they make. Um, <laughs> so I think the scorpion are like the spider where they don't fight you during the day. Where are we going? A jungle. Perfect. I would like to get a ocelot tamed as soon as possible because uh, having one would be very nice to keep creepers away. I'm gonna need some more food, so let's slaughter this family of deer. We gotta. S <laughs> you know what? I'd probably kill these guys just because they they're burp. They don't excuse themselves when they burp. You know. I'm guess I've never actually heard like a deer in real life. I guess that's the sound they make. Like I've seen plenty of deer, obviously, but like I haven't gotten like close enough to hear them just like belch at me. Sorry if I'm a little loopy in recording this early in the morning, and I haven't gone to sleep yet, but. Whoa. <laughs> that sounded like a contained burp. Like, he, when he died, he was like, sorry. Like, he wanted to apologize by not burping as loudly, but that's what happens when you burp in the face of an adventurer. All right, let's do a quick run over. This is a weird... Oh, sweet. This is a... I was going to say, this is a weird fusion of snow and jungle, but we found an ocelot already. Come here, buddy. Buddy. Now I changed the textures on the tamed cats, so if we get this one, you can actually see what those look like. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. And we got some iron over here. I really don't want to fall in that ravine. Where the? <laughs> hey, buddy, don't do it. You got so much to live for. You could be my pet. No place to go but into my arms. Sweet! So this is a little tiger-striped cat. <laughs> if we get some more, I'll show you the other textures, but I, I swapped some of the textures out. So here's my tiger buddy. Um, you can normally name most of the pets, but I think because he's a vanilla one, they won't let me name him. But we got our first pet, guys. I have a list of priorities, and pets were a couple down past like food and armor and shelter and that type of thing. But, you know, we skipped a few, and now we've got pets. So let's head over to the other side. I'm going to try to get some iron. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I think that's good enough. Whoa. And so many sounds. That's probably good enough for one episode, right? We got a day, a night, and another day. So unless I can find a bird around here to help me get down that ravine, I think I'll probably end it. You know, let's see if we can. I could tame that one with one fish. Let's see if we can get another cat. Yes, perfect. And this is, okay, so the three skins I gave for tamed cats, I gave one that looks just like an ocelot, so they stay their coat. I gave the tiger striped, and then I made this mushroom cat, which are really weird, but they're so cute, so I had to do that. So now we got two cats, 
And I think this is perfect to end it here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck with me, we are going on an adventure, and I hope you guys want to you know, come along with me. I have two cats, and they don't have names. So please, in the comments, leave a name for my tiger striped cat and my weird ass mushroom cat. <laughs> And I will use the best names, you know, whatever gets the most upvotes or the ones that I like, the mo or likes or whatever, thumbs up, and or the ones that I think are the best. So, next time, we will continue further on. So it's just me, my two cats, they're already wandering off, they're bored. So I will end the video here. I think we're going to try to go down that ravine if we can get a bucket of water or a bird to help us get down. Jeez. I don't have any more fish, do I? Nope. So, there's some more wild ocelots, but we're cool with two cats, right? This should be enough. Hey, buddy. He's just pushing me off. Um, so yeah, leave a name for whatever you think these guys should be named, and I'll pick one for the next video. Uh, hopefully, unless I record after this, but I doubt I will. I think I'm just going to do this one, and, and do them daily rather than record them in batches. So, next time, I will see you guys, and we'll go on more adventures. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.